Sierra Leone is a country that's still recovering from years of civil war. 2012 is the 10th anniversary of the end of the civil war. Um, structures are still fragile in Sierra Leone. The media is still young. A lot of the media is underdeveloped. There are lots of newspapers, lots of private ra uh, community and private radio stations. A few are starting to do programs that address governance issues in Sierra Leone. But they need training, they need funding support, they need equipment, and these are the areas where people like us, the BB Media Action, are very useful. Talk about Salon, which is talk about Sierra Leone. In Creole, the lingua franca in, in Sierra Leone, is a question and answer debate program. We bring together people in power, activists, ordinary people in communities, and we go to communities and discuss issues of national importance and of local significance to those communities. This is what Talk About Sierra Leone is about, empowering the ordinary people to have that voice, to speak out, to talk about what, what's burning inside their chest. The BBC Media Action Program. The program we're currently uh, broadcasting across Sierra Leone and using various radio partners is called Four Road. Four Road means four roads. It's like a junction. And it's like a junction where different Sierra Leoneans meet to discuss issues of importance to the country and to themselves. My name is Maria Masisi. I'm the presenter of Ford. And Ford is a weekly program. We normally deal with governance issues, but we do also look at other issues like health, which we are dealing with tonight. And we are looking at the free healthcare scheme, which was designed by the present government. My name is Maya Makaifo and I work for the BBC Media Action in Sierra Leone as a producer and trainer in the Coco Livelihood Project in Kenema. The Coco Project is very crucial because this country is a country that is known for diamonds. But the people who were mining after the war came back and they have nothing with them. Some of them have lost their houses, they've lost their properties as a result of the war. They are now struggling on how to rebuild their lives. But this project will help create awareness amongst um, potential cocoa farmers, those who don't have interest in growing cocoa, to grow cocoa in their communities, see the need to, to, to involve in agriculture, especially in the cocoa production. The level of illiteracy in the country is high. There are lots of people who can't read and write. And the only way we can provide education to them is through the radio. It's the fastest means of disseminating of information in this part of the country. Because most of these cocoa farmers do listen to their radios. Even when they are in their cocoa farm, they have their radio sets. They listen to the radio. On the island of Shabro in Sierra Leone, it is easy to feel left behind. Because it is so isolated, people can lack access to information. So, I help train volunteers who run a local radio station. I've even trained a blind man to host his own show. It is the most popular on the island. He told me very, so many things about um, the media. How to raise phone, how to bring people together, how to interview people. So many things. So I love areas for the, uh, the, the teaching. All of us including me as manager, we are all volunteer workers. We are not on stipend or salary, no nothing, but all the same, because of the love of our community, we are doing the work. Amara Banguras, who was one of the people I mentored, he's been one of our high profile reporters reporting the Charles Taylor trial in The Hague in the Netherlands and reporting to the people of Sierra Leone and to the people of Liberia about the proceedings at the Special Court for Sierra Leone when it, it, it was sitting in The Hague. You understand the distance from Sierra Leone to here. Had it not been the reports that we are sending into Sierra Leone, it would have been difficult for Sierra Leoneans to understand what's the process here, how it's been tried, I mean, how it is happening. So it's extremely important to them. 